on and I call it the mole method. Pop up, see what the lay of the land is, then get back down under and work like a dog. Get that content out and then three months, six months later, pop up and see if there's anything else on the horizon that you need to know about. But it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be scary. I really love making things simple, understandable, and actionable. And so that's exactly what we do. Yes. And a lot of people feel overwhelmed with all of that. But the, the reason that they feel overwhelmed is because they haven't got clarity on their purpose. So the first yeah. step is to go and um, do something like this with Lauren, where you work on getting that clarity. Uh, that's what Big Why Life is is about and you know you'll see people talk about getting your messaging right that's what this is about so that is that is like ground zero for all of this so you need to get your purpose straight and um and then lauren will talk to you about how to actually get that content machine happening um just one of the other things i wanted to talk about lauren was um that kind of hustle hustle pressure mentality that is out there on social media do you, do you have something to say about that yeah, I think it sucks. <laughs> I know. You know, I think, and this kind of goes back to the idea of entrepreneurial enmeshment. Like if you feel like your self-worth is fluctuating with your P&L, if you feel like you are kind of desperate to help your clients in a way that is uh, causing you to be overly clingy or over deliver and go outside the scope of whatever has been promised, if you feel like this desperation around what you're offering or that you're constantly stealing, right? That when you're standing in your business, you're stealing time from your family or when you're standing with your family, you're stealing time from your business. If you are never present, planted and grounded, that is enmeshment. And I think it's the hustle culture too that plays into that, this idea of you must always be working. You must always be on. You don't get to take time for yourself. There are a lot of, I think really capable folks who are just wearing themselves out chasing these businesses. But the thing is, if folks are are following other people who are putting this shiny, you know, layer over a life of, you know, not so shiny stuff, it's hard to tell sometimes in in the online space. So if, if you're following people who are giving you these messages of just knuckle under, just get it done, just do the thing. Yeah. Sometimes that there are seasons where you do need to do that. You are going to grind more. I'm doing a double launch this week. Big Y Life goes live. And I also have organic marketing ecosystem that I'm guiding people through live. This is a tough season, but I homeschool my kids. So I'm going to have a season of more rest on the other side at rest. I'm going to have more season just with my family, spending time with them and being more ensconced in like all the the coziness of kindergarten and preschool right so like there's balance in in that and i think you know i i've had friends who are so afraid of getting into hustle culture that they're, they're like i can't do the big thing because i i don't have the time because i don't work saturdays i'm like that's fine